Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's look at distance and time graphs and see what they tell you. First, you may see something like this. You have two lines, the blue and the red, and what are they telling you? One, whenever you have a straight line like this, that means that the movement is constant. Okay? There's no acceleration or deceleration. If you have the little rubber ducky here, it's constant like this. Okay, now, which one is the rate of speed greater? Well, the blue, the rate of speed is greater. And I'll show you this. Basically, speed equals the slope of the line. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the slope of each line and then show you that the blue slope or speed is greater than the red slope. So let me get started on that. Okay, I've already gone ahead and written this out to speed things up. But you know the slope formula is rise over run or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I look at y2, which is where it ends up, is 40 and it started at 10. And for the red, it ends up at 25 and it started at 5. And then the x, uh, x2 and x1 is down here. So you can see from the calculation... The blue line is 2 meters per second, and the red line is 1 meter per second. So this is going at a more, a quicker constant rate than this uh, red line. And then this would be even slower if it was at this uh, angle. Okay, now let's look at another type of graph you will probably see in the distance time graph. Okay, you may see something like this, and um, let's go through this and see what's happening. This first segment it's going at a constant rate of speed and the angle is pretty steep so it's pretty quick then here you're only going you're going from 20 to 20 or you are at rest then here we have another constant then we have rest now what is going on right here notice that the end point is 30 Excuse me, the beginning point is 30, and it, you end up at 20. So you are going at a constant rate of speed. Constant rate of speed. Put the S in there. But you're going in reverse. Okay? So right here is reverse, and then, once again, you're going forward. So let me get the rubber ducky out, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay? Beginning, constant speed then rest, then constant speed, then rest, then backwards, and then a quick forward. I'll show you one more time. Constant speed forward, rest, constant speed, rest, backwards, forwards. Okay, I hope that is helpful. And then we have one final type of graph you may see, and let's see what it tells you. Okay, sometimes you will see a graph like this with a curve. Basically, that tells you whenever you have a curve like this, you have acceleration at this point. Okay, right here in the middle, you have some constant speed. And then when you see a curve like this, this will be deceleration. Okay, so that uh, looks a little bit different than the graphs with a constant, but that's basically what it's telling you. I hope that helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.